All right, so here's a quick video of a jukebox that I've got for sale here. This is a 1982 Rockola Super Sound. So um, this is kind of the the pinnacle of 45 RPM playing jukebox technology. Um, I mean, well, what I mean by that, I guess, is that by this time, you know, it was everything was digital. Um, you know, you had. Uh, Everything was, it had been refined as far as they could really refine it. There weren't really any major advancements after this point. Um, so, you know, by this time you're getting, you, you know, when you buy one of these, you're getting something that when it's all tuned up and ready to go, it it's pretty much trouble-free. There's not a lot of weird stuff that can happen to these, um, particularly Rockolas. I mean, once you set them up, they are literally like battleships. They just go and go and go. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, uh, this particular one, um, has kind of a cool look. I don't know. It's very, uh, very 80s, uh, kind of in the looks department. I don't know. I'm, it makes me think of like a, I don't know, like a top loading VCR or something. I don't know. Or, uh, I, I don't know. Um, Battlestar Galactica. No, something. Anyway, it's, um... It's got a certain look that some people might find appealing. Um, you know, they all look different. I mean, they're really all very evocative of their time period, and this one just screams 1982. So if you're a child of the 80s, then maybe this is the jukebox for you. Um, you know, certainly um, the super sound sounds good. Uh, Rockola had, you know, had a good amp in this, um, had a big powerful amplifier with big speakers, so it goes very loud. It will fill a room without any issues. Um, and, uh, and I mean, hey, we, we can't not mention the light show. I mean, the light show, what's awesome about this light show? Well, the fact that it has a light show. Oh, and this effect, too. Um, this weird 3D, like it goes on and on forever. There's like mirrors in there and lights. Um, and these little blinkies continue. Back to the blinkies. Um, when I got this thing in, not a single one of them worked and I had to replace every single one and you had to take apart a whole pile of stuff. And um, so yeah, um, worth noting, I spent some time, there were hours spent fiddling with this, um, a lot of hours to be honest. Uh, but I mean, it all turned out nice. It's it's a clean machine, it looks great. A lot of rock colas, um, you know, being made of press wood got chunks out of the sides or were, you know, the corners got smashed off. This one's fine. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is actually you'll notice this side has no art and this side has this orange swoosh thing. Uh, I don't know what happened to this thing. I guess at some point in its life, um, well, I don't know what happened, but it's like it, it's not there. There was no evidence of it ever even having been there. Um, it's just smooth press wood. So I I went ahead and like I painted I repainted everything touched up everything that needed to be touched up, um, so you know the um, it it looks good but there's just no art there. Uh, so yeah, um, totally reconditioned and refurbished. Obviously the cosmetics have all been done. I'll just quickly go under the hood here and show you what's going on here. Rock hole mechanism. Um, and this is another thing that makes the jukebox pretty cool. Um, these mechanisms are really and truly, like, they're bulletproof. They were, you know, just once you get these things... That... So here's the deal with these. When I, I often get these inexpensively because they're just totally, like, they're seized. They're stuck. And the only way to get them to go again... Oh, hey, Nacho. Basically, you've got to dismantle this whole thing and reset all these gears, clean everything, the glue. Turn. You're gonna get electrocuted, buddy. You're gonna. There's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna. You're gonna fucking die. So here, get out of there. Don't. Don't. You're cute, but uh, we need to keep you around. Yeah. So, um, you know, this all has to come apart. It all gets redone. Uh, basically, once you've cleaned and, uh, you know, lubricated and then reassembled and then set everything and timed it, um, you know, that's all that can go wrong with these. These, this, this mechanism, like, I've opened up, you know, rock holas from, like, well, the oldest one that I've seen, I think they use, I, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna throw a date out there because I don't know, but I've had rock holas from the 60s. 
um, the early 60s. Uh, I'm assuming they still use this mechanism back into the 50s. So, you know, tried and true. Um, it really, you know, it really works well when it's all set up and running. So, so there you go. That's my little rant about that. Um, and yeah, here's all your digital stuff. So, you know, you don't have all the... I had this... Um, Hey Nacho, that Wurlitzer, I made a video of it, you know, a little while ago, and, you know, when you lift the lid on that, there's like a million different things, there's stuff happening, and... Yes, Nacho. Dude, cool it! I'm, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making a video, pal. Jeez. Yeah. Anyway, I guess Nacho wants me to wrap it up, so, uh... Cool it, bud. Jesus. Anyway, yeah, okay, I'll close the lid on this because that's really all you need to know. It works good. It's all been done. All the services performed. It is good to rock and roll at high volume for another, what is it, 1982? So, well, it's, it's older than I am. So, yeah, so another 37 years of service anyway. Yeah, rebuilt amp, rebuilt, like, nothing needs to be done. It's turnkey. There you go. Put this in your house and done. Uh, so, yeah. Custom title strips, we make these in-house, um, they match the extra cheesy orange and blue nonsense of it, it just, everything fits. Uh, you might have noticed underneath the hood I had installed a, it's like a strobe light with changing colors, you'll see that, I'm gonna play a song here, so, before this gets too long, 150, uh, should be, yeah, uh, so it should be, Cars by Gary Newman, that's a good, 80s song. So there you go. It's a pretty sweet jukebox. Uh, this would look good at someone's house for their next New Year's Eve party. So yeah.